Let me start tonight by introducing myself. My name is Todd Smith, and I've been with Longevity for, well, since 1996. So I've been with this company for quite a few years now and worked with Dr. Wallach, and I was originally introduced to the company by my father. And what happened is uh, I was in my first year of graduate school when my wife and I found out we were going to have triplets. And so it was a little bit of a shock. <laughs> we were excited, but we were a little nervous because all of a sudden we had to get a bigger place and, and a lot of extra stuff and kind of three of a lot of different things. And so I had to find some way to make some money in order to take care of that. And uh, because of the situation with triplets, oftentimes they come small. And so I, had, I was in a situation where I had to quit work in order to stay in school and uh, so that I could be home to help with the babies and so forth. And as a result of that, I had to find some other way to pay for all these diapers and infant formulas and all the things we needed. So I needed another way to support the family. And I was looking at some different ideas, and I took these ideas up to Idaho where my dad lives. He's been very successful in business. I trusted his judgment. I said, Dad, here's some ideas. What do you think? And he heard me out, and he said, Todd, I've never heard any of those things. I don't know anything about them. But he said, one of the things you showed me was a nutritional product. And he said, your mom and I have recently had an experience with that. And he said, let me show you something. And he went to the refrigerator, and he poured some juice and mixed some stuff up and gave it to me. He said, here, drink this. And knowing my dad pretty well, I smelled it first. And I said, well, what is it? And he said, I don't know for sure. It's old stuff that comes out of Utah. But uh, your mom got it from a friend of hers to, to help with her arthritis and bone spurs, and she's gotten better. And, uh, you know, I started, I gave her a hard time at first, but she started feeling so great, I started sneaking it, he said. And he says, I tell you, the stuff works. And he said, I wanted to show this to you because he says, if you're going to go talk to neighbors and friends and people like that about a nutritional product, there's a lot of stuff out there that's just hype that doesn't really make a difference. And you've got to make sure that what you're going to be selling is the real deal. And he said, this stuff I know works. And uh, I said, fantastic, tell me more. And so through the course of him introducing me then to the people that they got the product from, um, I was introduced to Dr. Wallach. And uh, boy, 1996, my wife and I said, this, said, this is what we're going to do. And we jumped in and we started to uh, share Dr. Wallach's message with people. And that was the adventure that leads me to where we are here tonight. And what I want to do tonight is I want to share with you kind of an overview of longevity of Dr. Wallach's message in this company that he's formed and our, what our purposes are and more specifically what makes us unique because there's lots of companies out there, there's lots of nutritional programs and products but why have I stuck with Longevity? What makes Longevity different than anything else that's out there? And so that's what I'm going to share with you tonight. We're going to watch a video, the video is about 15 minutes. I'm going to uh, introduce to you three points, three points that uh, I feel are very, very special to longevity, what make us different from anybody else. And uh, so we'll go to that point. Let's go ahead and start the... Hi, I'm Todd Smith. I'm going to share with you some information that has changed my life. It's about an individual named Dr. Joel Wallach. He's a veterinarian who worked with the famous Marlon Perkins of the Mutual of Omaha Wild Kingdom. I think the thing that makes my view different on health is that I'm a veterinarian as well as a physician. 23 years of experience as a licensed physician dealing with people and their diseases. Worked on a big uh, grant with the National Institutes of Health and Marlon Perkins from the old Mutual Omaha Wild Kingdom days. Uh, it was a seven and a half million dollar grant. Did over 20,000 autopsies, 17,500 autopsies, and over 454 species of animals and 3,000 human beings for comparison. So it, it uh, gives me a little unique position in my training. One of Dr. Wallach's landmark discoveries was this. The more complex the organism, the more nutrients it requires. So we learned a long time ago in the animal industry that we could prevent and cure diseases in animals with simple little nutritional formulas. You find these in little alfalfa pellets. We've been so successful at using this technique over the last 75 years, we've eliminated about 900 different diseases in animals with nutrition that still plague people. So what are the results of adding nutritional supplements to animals' feed? Well, let's take man's best friend, for example, the dog. Have you ever heard of dog years? Experts have said for years that one dog year is equal to seven human years. That's because the average dog in the 1960s lived to be 10 and the average human was dying in their 70s. You know, simple math, 7 to 1. Today, the lifespan of dogs and cats has doubled, whereas the lifespan of humans is unchanged. And the only real difference is that the animals are eating a perfect diet, fortified with over 40 minerals, and the humans are not. 
And as a veterinarian, it always seemed odd to me that we would uh, use this technique for animals and nobody was doing it for people. And I lectured to doctors for many years during their continuing education programs, wrote scientific articles, some 75 plus, and um, was never able to get doctors interested in preventing and curing diseases in people with nutritional formulas. And so I went back to school and became a physician, and since 1978 I've been using these little veterinary nutritional formulas on my human patients, and I can tell you that the concept of preventing and curing diseases in animals with nutritional formulas works the same in people. Have you ever read the label of a can of human infant formula? Have seen how few minerals there are in it? Our dogs and cats are getting over 40 minerals, and our babies are getting less than 12. It's pretty frightening, really. I mean, on that logic, you'd think dogs and cats are more complex than humans. There are over 77 minerals naturally occurring in the human body. 77. 60 of them are essential for health. You know, the fundamental problem is the difference between vitamins and minerals. Plants can manufacture vitamins, but they're dependent on the soil they grow in for their minerals. Plants can combine water and nutrients from the soil through a process called photosynthesis to produce vitamins and amino acids. Minerals, however, cannot be manufactured by the plant. In essence, the minerals must be present in the soil to be absorbed by the plant. Another important thing to understand is that minerals do not occur in a uniform blanket over the face of the earth. They occur in veins like gold or silver and tend to accumulate in locations such as ancient riverbeds or glacial runoff where the soils from multiple times and locations have congregated. Well, the basic thing that people need to know about supplementation is that essential nutrients are called essential nutrients for two reasons. Number one, our bodies can't manufacture them. We must consume them every day either as a food or as supplements. Secondly, if we don't consume them every day, we're going to get, not maybe, perhaps, could, we're going to get many horrible deficiency diseases, many of which are life-threatening. The problem we face today is that our food is no longer grown in mineral-rich areas. Large farms that have been growing crops for decades are now depleted of these vital minerals. Farmers replace only what is necessary to make sure their crops will grow. Take a look at this study from the USDA. You can see that the drop in mineral and vitamin content in our food has been significant. We can see it in corn, onions, broccoli, strawberries, and many other fruits and vegetables. If the minerals are not in our food, we need to supplement in order to maintain good health. Look at how much we could reduce diseases if we were just taking the minimum recommendations of vitamins and minerals each day, according to the USDA estimate. One day, uh, Dr. Joel Wallach came to my office and uh, placed a bottle on my desk and said, these are plant-derived minerals. I want you to examine those. Well, so we did. And we found some very, very interesting results that made me really convinced that this is a great product. Not only does it contain a great many elements, it also contains them in a form which makes them substantially active. The bottle that Dr. Wallach gave to Dr. Schrauser turned out to be plant-derived colloidal minerals from an ancient plant deposit found in the pristine mountains of Utah, far away from pollution and human contact. These ancient plants lived at a time and in a location where more than 70 minerals naturally occurred in the soils and were therefore taken up in the plants that grew there. These mineral-rich plants, having never fossilized or turned to stone, have been entombed and preserved for hundreds of thousands of years. There are many traditional stories which have been told about these mountain springs. American Indians speak of the magical healing benefits they experience when drinking from them. Early prospectors included stories in their journals of how these waters helped ease joint pain and other illnesses. Modern science and manufacturing have been able to better explain the amazing stories stemming from these mountain streams. Bottom line, we need to get our minerals from plants. Doctors Wallach and Malan knew this and felt compelled to get this message out. In fact, that's why Dr. Wallach went back to school and practiced privately for over 12 years, treating human patients with these animal formulas, giving them the nutrition that they needed. And after thousands and thousands of people having positive results, they felt now they need to take this message to the masses. They need to reach more people, and they turned to the power of word of mouth. They formed a company, Longevity, with the purpose of changing lives. Longevity is a flourishing, multi-million dollar company, passionate about spreading the message of good health. They've designed an extensive line of nutritional products based upon the science of plant-derived minerals. 
They've put together a team of scientists and doctors respected around the world that are recommending these products to their patients for good health. All the members in our family have found very good results using these products. We have a daughter and after starting her on the recommended products, about two weeks into it, she was a different child. It was just night and day. All of a sudden she was sweet and kind and loving and she took the rock out from under her pillow that she kept there to throw at the other kids in the night if they made her mad. <laughs> Before using Sam cream, I, I've had a whole lot of aching joints and pain. I'm 41 years of age and the thing about that is ever since I started taking the Sam cream, I've been pain free. That makes all the difference in the world. My husband introduced me to these products and I've been taking them now for two years and I've noticed a real difference in my health and I have a lot more energy and overall vitality. I outfit people on hunting trips and pack trips into the high mountains of Utah and Wyoming. In my riding, it's very uh, labor intensive and uh, my knees were wearing out and they were hurting, my shoulders were hurting, my thumb was hurting but my arm was hurting, my back was hurting. Well, I got on this on uh, February the 7th. I'd say in uh, three months time, I had no more pain. I had all kinds of energy. I'm 75 years old. I'm doing work of a 50 year old man. It's awesome what American longevity has done for my body. I had just got traded to Atlanta. I had a multitude of injuries. Um, I had just came from uh, making an all-star team, but I wasn't able to play an all-star team because I had broken my wrist. I used the product, came back the next year and had a, a great year. Stay healthy for like three straight years without any issues. So I was working at a fast food restaurant. I was overweight. I had knee problems. Being overweight, I couldn't exercise. I was eating all of the wrong foods. And so it caused a whole lot of problems. Uh, I was introduced to the products and um, I lost the weight. I changed my eating habits, so I changed my diet, and I have taken care of the knee problems, and I've been able to um, really change my whole life with the American Longevity products. We're now in many countries. Um, it takes a lot of people to pass on this message. As passionate as I am about it, one person can't do this. And so we've decided to reward people financially for helping us spread the message. And it's very exciting how many people take on the responsibility of passing the message, and we pay very well. Uh, we like to help people not only with their health, but also their financial health and, and well-being. And uh, we're very, very proud of being able to pull this off. So we actually pay out more than any other network marketing company out there uh, in theory and in reality. Uh, I, I particularly interested when uh, I hear that uh, Blake is planning to uh, introduce this business to Japan. I was not successful in any other uh, programs, but uh, in, in this longevity, people are more uh, willing to listen and uh, my downline is uh, steadily growing and I'm very successful. It's a huge opportunity for people that want to build a business off of providing high quality, good products that people see benefit and value in. And that's really a, a very rewarding part of my job is to see those ideas implemented into a, a not only a usable product but a product that people then see value in and then we get testimonials back on those products from the time they went from being just an idea to an actual product to people receiving benefit and reporting back results and so that's the, the most rewarding part for me but also for our distributors. You know, I, I hear countless stories from distributors that love getting those uh, testimonials and the feedback from their customers and, and people they know they've helped. This company was established by distributors, again, for distributors. So we have their uh, needs in mind and we know what they go through out in the field to promote the products. And so we're very receptive to their input and ideas. Because it's on a downline system, people can utilize, you know, a star athlete being involved with the product in order to sell rebound and you know create a business off of it. I first got involved with the Australian Longevity by taking their colloidal minerals. From then I started becoming a distributor. Now I have um, people in five different countries distributing for me. Australian Longevity has allowed me to choose what I want to do, not what I have to do. You need to get involved if you want to do something more. If you want to do more than just make money, it's a way to make a difference. It's something you can sink your teeth into. The products are there. The financial support is there. The integrity is there. And to me, 
If you don't have integrity, you have nothing. It's given me the opportunity to quit my daytime job and be a stay-at-home mom. But not only that, it gave us a financial freedom to take a two-year retirement and go travel 48 of the states with Dan, myself, and our son, Zachary. And our check has increased every month in our retirement, and I don't know anyone else our age that can do that. I needed to do something that will empower me for my future, and I am so glad I did. If people knew what they're missing, then they wouldn't miss it. They would do whatever they could to make this work, whatever it is. As far as health goes and as far as making extra money a month, you know, it's, it's not that hard. I, I'm telling you, I live in um, Washington now, Washington, D.C., and let me tell you, people there are stressed out, high strung, and about ready to break. And it just amazes me. They go to work at 7 o'clock in the morning, they get home at 7 or 8 o'clock at night. They are totally stressed out. And so many people that are like that all across the country, if they just knew what a residual income could do, they would do whatever it took to build a residual income and at the same time help people. Truth is, I'm a distributor of Longevity and have been for eight years. I joined the company back when my wife and I found out we were going to have triplets and I had to quit my job to stay in school. I was introduced to this company because of the products, because they'd helped my parents so much with their health. They told me, they said, Todd, if you can find a way to make money with this, you've got yourself an incredible business because these products are for real and they really work. These products and this company have provided us some incredible health benefits as a family. They've provided us some financial opportunities and things that we just never dreamed about, a lifestyle that we thoroughly enjoy. I hope you've enjoyed this information. I've enjoyed sharing it with you. And I hope you'll join us with our Longevity family. Well, with that introduction, now I'm going to share with you three points or aspects of longevity that I think are really unique. First off is the longevity products. And the reason the longevity products are unique is because they come from a completely different mindset, a different philosophy than the typical product that's being created to go into the marketplace. Normally, if a product's being created, somebody comes up with a great story, an exotic name, something like that, and it, that creates the uniqueness for that product. Well, Dr. Wallach's philosophy is different. Rather than creating a product and then trying to market it, his idea is find out the need and then fulfill that need. And so it comes from a philosophy of a doctor of veterinary medicine as opposed to a medical doctor. The philosophy of the medical uh, industry in our country is that if you get sick, you go see the doctor, right? Once you're ill, then you go to the doctor, and that's when the doctor makes money. It's when you are already sick. And the veterinarians learned early on that there's no money in that for them, okay? They, they don't get paid with the treatments, especially in the farm animals, right? Because there's no money in those treatments because the animals are worse, worth less than the cost of the treatment. Now, with people, we'll spend whatever it costs, okay? Whatever it is, we'll pay it for that treatment. But for animals, there's a price to it. And so the veterinarians learned very early on that they had to do something different in order to get paid, in order to make money. And they came from a standpoint, instead of treatment, like the medical community, they came at it from a standpoint of prevention. The idea was that from all of their research, there are what we call essential nutrients. And these are nutrients that are linked to sickness. So they are nutrients that the body can't produce. And so if the body can't produce it, they must consume. And secondly, they are directly linked to a disease. So a deficiency of these nutrients means what? You're going to get sick, okay? You're going to get sick. And these are what we call essential nutrients. And then the veterinarians made lists of these for all the animals. Okay, they have a list for pigs, and they have a list for chickens, and they have a list for turkeys. Okay, and these are the essential nutrients that those animals' bodies cannot produce. They have to consume or they get sick. Well, Dr. Wallach said this is a great idea. 
works fantastic for animals. What if we took that philosophy and moved it into treating humans? And so his idea was, let's identify what those essential nutrients are. And <coughs> they discovered that the makeup of essential nutrients for humans is 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, and 2 to 3 fatty acids. All up, that becomes 90 essential nutrients. Okay? 90 essential nuts. Okay? That is what it, what it adds up to. And if the body gets these items, then it doesn't get sick. And if we are sick and we have something wrong with us, as long as we're getting these 90 essential nutrients, perhaps we need a few extra of certain ones that we've been deficient in for some time, but the body can do amazing things in reversing and repairing as well. And that philosophy, Dr. Wallach said, should work just as well in humans as it's worked in animals. So he went and told everybody about it, publicized it. Not a lot of people got worked up over it, and so he decided, I'm going to prove it to you. He went to the state of Oregon, became a licensed physician, and started practicing, and for 12 years, he treated his human patients as animals, okay? giving them horse pills and calf pellets, and giving them these 90 essential nutrients. And as a result, people got better. In fact, word spread on the, on the street. It was, look, if you're not happy with the treatment you're getting from your doctor, go see Doc Wallach. He'll treat you like a dog, but you'll get better. And that's exactly what happened. His fame grew, his popularity grew. He had more patients than he knew what to do with because this philosophy of prevention seemed to make sense with people. And they got better. So this whole philosophy is what makes longevity very, very unique. Because we don't start an exotic thing. We start with the essentials. And I'll give you a little example of how to depict that. If you put the 90 essentials right in the center, okay, this is the core of our product line. But we have over 450 products. Why have 450 products then, right? If you can, if you can get all of your essentials right there with the core. Well, the reason is because we like options. Okay? We like to have other choices. And we are, a, you know, we are a people of choices. When you buy a car, you don't just get tires and fuel and a steering wheel, right? You like to have power doors, power windows. You like to have a car stereo to listen to. These are all options, and they're nice to have. They're not essential, but they're fantastic options to have. Well, the same thing is true here. We have products for energy, okay? We have the Rebound product, which you saw in the video. We have products for diabetes. We call it Sweet Ease to help with sugar sensitivities and diabetes. We have products for arthritis like Glucogel and OsteoFX. We have uh, all sorts of products to help with women's issues, okay, like the women's FX with hormonal issues. And the list goes on and on and on and on around the, around the circle. Everything from cosmetics to mineral makeup to laundry detergent, the product line is vast. And you don't, you don't necessarily use all of these products, but you start at the core. Everybody uses the core. And when you experience life with 90 essential nutrients, you never want to go back. And so what happens is you say, man, this works so fantastic. I wonder what else longevity has. And you try this, and you try this, and you try this. And pretty soon you find out that it's nice having those options, isn't it? It's really nice having those power windows and those power locks and the heated seat and the heated steering wheel and all the other luxuries that you can put into an automobile. Well, we have that in our product line as well. So the, the thing that may, one of the things of the three that makes us unique is our product line. We start with what is essential and necessary for health. And we start everybody there. And if you give the body those 90 essential nutrients, it'll do amazing things. Dr. Wallach says your need for the 90 nutrients, the 90 essential nutrients expires when your need for oxygen expires. Okay, so when you no longer want to breathe, then you no longer need your 90 nutrients. But this is based on the veterinary science and the preventative approach to health. Something that makes us very unique. Let's go to point number two. All right, the second point that we're going to talk about regarding the uniqueness of longevity is the fact that longevity gives us a unique access to a principle called leverage. How many here know what leverage is? Somebody give me an example. A little bit of effort, a lot of output. 
Very good. Okay, so a certain amount of, effort, of input that goes in, but you get a lot of output that comes out. Okay, it's a magnification of effort in a way. A uh, simple example of that is if you get a flat tire. You ever had a flat tire in a car? Had to change a tire? Okay. You get out of the car, you lift that car off the ground, prop it on your hip, undo those lug nuts, throw that tire off, slap on that spare, tighten up those lug nuts, and let that car back down, right? I see a few smiles, okay. Sure, that's what we do, okay. No, we don't do that, but we do if we have what? If we have leverage, okay. What do you use for leverage to change a tire on a car? Jack. Tire jack, okay. Little simple motions round and around, up and down, that car magically lifts off the ground. You do exactly what we said, but you're using leverage to do it. With a little bit of input, you get a huge output. Okay, immense amount of, of benefit and strength that comes from a small input. Well, how do we get unique leverage? We get unique leverage by getting out of the syndrome of trading time for money. So that's how we, most people earn their, earn their income, isn't it? You take so many hours out of your day, you put it on a plate and you hand it to your boss, and he gives you a paycheck. He says, this is what your time is worth. And so we are all limited. We have a ceiling on us, don't we? Okay? There is no way that any one of us can work more than 24 hours in a day if we're in that trading time for money. So your income is capped to whatever, however many hours you're going to work times however much you're going to get paid per hour. That's your max. Well, leverage is actually a principle of wealth. True wealth is created by people who find and access the principle of leverage. I'll give you an example. This little CD has given me access to incredible leverage. I leverage a number of things here. I leverage Dr. Wallach's experience. I leverage his knowledge. I leverage his power to deliver a message. He's convincing, okay? I leverage all that about him. And so I don't have to do the autopsies. I don't have to do the research. I don't have to be a doctor. I don't have to do any of that kind of thing. All I have to do is know the guy and have access to his CD. And so I, as an individual, as a normal person, can leverage him by lending that CD to people. Now, let me give you an example, okay? Let's say, let's say I take this CD and I lend it to a friend. How long will it take me to lend this to a friend? Okay, a minute. I say, this is a fantastic CD. I love it. It's entertaining. It's helped my family. I want you to listen to it. Would you listen to it? Sure. Okay? Took me a few seconds, didn't it? Now, he takes this CD and he listens to it. CD's over an hour long, okay? My input of a minute or two turns into an hour of work. So my minimal input then produces over an hour of work. Now, can you see in a day how it's possible to access more hours of work then if you're using something like this CD? <coughs> Let me give you another example. What if I took 10 of those CDs to work? Okay, and in the course of that day at work, I lent 10 of those CDs out to people and got commitments from them to listen to that CD on their way home from work. So on the way home from work, I'm doing something else, and those 10 people put that CD in and listen to it. So how long did it take me, do you think, to lend 10 CDs at work? 20 minutes if you talk slow. 20 minutes if I talk slow. Let's say it takes me an hour, right? Someone, someone was real hard, so I lost a lot of time on one of them, right? So I, I invest an hour. Those 10 people listen to that CD on the way home, that's 10 hours of work that's produced. That's a 10 times multiplier. Now, we take you one step further just to see if we can widen our view a little bit more. What if in a room like this, I taught 10 people to take 10 CDs to work and lend them? Okay, so how long would it take me to teach 10 people in a room like this? Maybe two hours. Yeah, an hour, two hours, okay. And those 10 people go and they share those 10 CDs at work which produce another 10 hours of work, right? So 10 times 10 is 100 hours of work produced from my one to two hours of input. So that is another example of leverage. And that CD has allowed me to access thousands and thousands of hours of work and production in a single... I'm not limited to this 24 hours because I access this principle of leverage. And wealth is created by finding leverage in your life. I heard a very, very wise man say one time, if you don't have leverage in your business, in your life right now, in your income generation, chances are you're leverage for somebody else. You're someone else's leverage. Okay, so think about that. Think about how you generate money, how your income is generated, and figure out if you have leverage or if you are being leveraged. Okay, it's a very, very interesting thing, but it is the difference between wealth and poverty.
Let me show you the next one. Point number three. Point number three is residual income. Everybody talks about residual income, right? I mean, it doesn't matter what business you're looking at, what, what type of opportunity, people mention this. It's a buzzword, right? But how many truly have residual income? Give me some examples in the marketplace of true residual income. Music, music artist. Okay, music artist. So let's, let's suppose we're talking about Elvis, okay? Elvis produces the song Blue Suede Shoes. How many times does he have to record it? Hopefully once, right? Once he, if he gets it right, it's once, right? But he has, to, he has to complete it one time. He has to get one good recording. How many times does he get paid on it? Every time someone listens to it, right? Every time it sells. Uh, the Harry Potter books. Any, anyone read the Harry Potter books? Okay. So how many times did she write that first one? Yeah, she only wrote it once, didn't she? She wrote it and published it, and then it published over and over and over and over again. Okay, so how many times did she get paid on it? Well, she's still getting paid on it, isn't she? Okay, so that's the idea of residual income. It's like a toll bridge, right? How, long, how many times do you have to build the bridge? You build it once, right? <laughs> as long as you build it right the first time, you build it once, and every time people go over it, you get paid. Okay, that's the idea of residual income. Well, with a consumable product like Longevity's, you know, in the morning, they take the product. Well, the next day, what do they do? They take the product. The next day, they take the product. Well, what happens after a few weeks? The bottle's empty, isn't it? Okay? And if they like the product, what do they do? They order it again. That's right. So if the product, if the product performs the way we say it does, the way Dr. Wallach says it will, then people return and purchase because it is what we call a consumable. It's a consumable product. It's used up, and people return and purchase. And every time they do, the company sends you a thank you card for bringing that customer. See, the company, Longevity, does not advertise. What they do instead is they produce this product, they provide us Dr. Wallach and his materials, and then every time a product is sold, they take that advertising budget that would normally be spent on advertising and paid to some broker and some media source, and they pay it to whoever it was that referred that customer to them. And that's how we get paid. And so if we, if we can get paid on a product that's consumable, what does that mean? It means we can have a residual income. As long as the product produces, people return and purchase. Now, there's lots of consumable products out there. Doesn't mean that people always return and purchase. What makes Longevity unique? What was the first point I told you about? You gotta have them. You gotta have them. That's right. The first one was essential products, wasn't it? If the products are essential, it's very different than some luxury item, right? You think about your car, right? If, if money is tight, you're low on funds, you're driving to work, and the fuel light comes on, you're out of gas. What do you do? Do you get out and push? Hope not. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You pull over and put gas in the car, don't you? But times are tough. Why would you do that? You have to have it to go, okay? Do you get that? It's essential, right? Now, same scenario, but this time, instead of the fuel running out, okay, the, uh, the stereo stops working, right? You're on your way to work, stereo stops working. What do you do? You instantly pull over, don't you? At the first repair place, you get that stereo replaced because you're not going another foot without that stereo. Now, we laugh, but the stereo's a luxury, isn't it? Okay, <laughs> you can get to work without the stereo, and so if times are tough and there's only so much money in in the pocket, what do you do? Well, you sing to yourself, don't you? <laughs> okay, you you create your own music because the stereo is not essential. It's wonderful, it's nice, but you can get by without it. Well, that is that is what makes Longevity's income residual, is that we focus on essential products. Those 90 essentials at the core, once a person has experienced life with and has experienced life without, they never want to go back. Okay? They, don't want the, they don't want it without again. Life with the 90 essentials is different. It's better in a lot of ways. And so what happens is our mentality actually changes in longevity. We start to think about our supplements differently. We start to say, you know what, I'm going to... 
I'm going to take my 90 essential nutrients and supplement those with food. Did you catch what I said? <laughs> We're going to take our vitamins and minerals and supplement that with our, my food, as opposed to eat and supplement it with vitamins and minerals. Our mentality changes because prevention is worth a pound of cure. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, and that is where this whole philosophy comes from. And that is why there are people I talked to in 96 that still come and purchase product, consumable product, month after month after month because they know what life was like before they met longevity. Now, there's lots of ways to become involved with longevity. Let me show you the different ways. You can come in as a customer, okay? And for $10, you can become a lifetime member and buy products at wholesale. One time 10 bucks, you can buy products at wholesale. You can also come in and participate in our referral system. And all you have to do in that case is be taking the products yourself and share it with other people and you get a rebate back from those that you share it with. And you can get to where you're making money, where your product's paid for and, and it costs you absolutely nothing to be taking the 90 essential nutrients every single day. Now, there are also others, and this was me, okay? I told you, in the beginning, I wasn't really looking for vitamins and minerals. I wasn't looking for health products. I was in dire need of money, okay, because I had triplets and I needed income and I was in school and on and on and on. So I looked at this and said, is this a business that I can get excited about? And once I heard Dr. Wallach and after hearing my dad and listening to that CD, I realized after hearing that CD, whatever it was that Dr. Wallach had for sale, I wanted to buy it. Whatever it was he was selling, I was going to buy it because the message rang true. It was so powerful and so convincing and it rang so true that whatever it was that he was talking about on that CD, I was going to buy it. Now, I didn't have any money, but I was going to buy it. Now, I thought to myself, that's a business opportunity. If there is a tool that all I have to do is lend it and they listen to it, and all of a sudden, they're willing to make a purchase, they're willing to give up their hard-earned cash for something, they don't know what it is, that's a pretty powerful thing. And I looked at that and I said, that's a business. That's a business I can do very well in. And so I looked at it differently. I, I didn't look at it as just being a customer. I didn't look at it as, hey, if I refer a few people, I can take the products for free. I said, can I do this as a business? And so what I want to show you real quickly is a business model. Okay, This isn't for the customers. This is for people that say, I want to get in and make a business. Well, <clears throat> first thing you have to talk about is what is my initial investment? Right? If you're looking at a business, what's it going to cost me to start up? And how long is it going to take me to get it back? Right? Break even is a big point. So, initial investment. We call it fill your wagon. Okay? You can't sell out of an empty wagon. So, you've got to fill up that wagon. And in order to fill that wagon, you're going to need products for you to take yourself. You're going to need products to share and sample to people. And you're going to need products to sell because when they listen to that CD, they're going to want them then. They're not going to wait to have them shipped from California. And so you've got to have products for those purposes. You've got to fill your wagon. It's going to cost you $350. Oops. $350 startup. That's going to get you your products that you need to take, to share, and to sell. Then what happens? Well, you're going to be drinking some of these products. You're going to be taking some of these products. You're going to be sharing some of these products. You're going to be selling some of these products. And so you're going to have to maintain that. So you're going to have a, this is a one time. But you're going to have a monthly maintenance a monthly inventory amount of 150 BV points, okay? That's how we, we assign everything a point value. So it's 150 to 175 dollars a month of maintenance to keep your stock filled. And we put that on what we call an auto ship. And the reason we do that is twofold. You make more money when you refer people if you are on auto ship yourself. And secondly, you don't have to pay any shipping and handling if you're on auto ship. Okay, so it's a very, very it's a very profitable program as well. So that's it. One time, 350 to get started, 150 on auto ship. Now, that's the that's the, that's what's required. Now, how do we get it back? Okay, how do you how do you get your in, your initial investment and your monthly overhead cost paid for? Well, let me show you. If this is you, first thing you're going to need is you're going to need four business partners. Four. Okay, everybody needs four. Why do you need four? It's a good number. That's a good one. Because the compensation plan requires three. How many tires do you have on your car? 
That's right. That's right. You always need a spare, okay? So you don't want to be caught without a spare. So you're going to need four. Everybody needs four partners. As soon as you have four people that do exactly what you did, okay? They fill their wagon and they go on that auto ship program. Now your initial investment is paid back. As soon as you've found four people that you've brought in that say, I want to do a business with this, and they fill their wagon and go on auto ship, okay? So as soon as you've found your four partners, your initial investment's covered. Now, these folks are going to want their initial investment covered, aren't they? They're going to want to make sure their business is profitable, so they're going to find four people. As soon as that happens, now you are consuming, sampling, and selling products for free every single month. Your business is profitable. No longer are you dipping into the pocket to fund your business. Your business is paying for itself by you finding your four and he be teaching and helping each of those four find their four. Pretty simple system. Now, when, you, when those folks find their four, this is level one, this is level two, you get down to level three, now you're making $800 a month in profit. So $800 a month. that do anything for you? What could you do with $800 a month? What would you do if you had an extra $800 a month? A cruise. Fantastic idea. Love cruising. Over here. What would you do with $800 a month, Sam? Pay off some debt. Pay off debt. Fantastic. Take that relief, you know, that, that stress off. Give you a little relief, right? $800 a month. Now, everybody wants to get their, their products paid for and get their initial investment covered, right? So everybody is finding four. Four, four a week, four a month, four a year. No, everybody has four. You understand that? Everybody has four partners. So... Those folks want to get theirs paid for, so it continues down. You get down to level four, now you're making $800 a week. What could you do for $800 a week? What would you do with an extra $800 a week? Buy a car. Buy a car? What kind of car would you buy? Toyota. Toyota? Okay, go a little further. What kind of Toyota? Corolla. A Corolla. Fantastic. You, you could get more than a, a Toyota Corolla for $800 a week. <laughs> That's right. Almost eight. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so $800 a week could change your life, couldn't it? Make a big difference. Now, you get down to level five. Now it's $800 every two days. Now you've got to buy a Corolla every two days. Right? Now, what would you do? If, this, is, this, this is a little bit bigger money now. What would you do with $800 coming in every two days? Help us out, Vivian. Yeah? X5, X3, cruise Europe, and then you still, I mean, it's still, what are you going to do the next two days? <laughs> and then take other people with you, right? Fantastic. Okay. This compensation plan, I'm not going to go much further, okay? But this compensation plan doesn't stop there. It continues down through level six, and then it starts at level seven with what we call an infinity bonus. It's a 2% bonus that pays out through now instead of levels, pays out through generations. It goes through the sixth level of the sixth generation of a diamond group, which represents about 6,000 in sales. So in a very, very mature organization, that 2% infinity bonus from level seven and beyond is larger than those six levels that we just talked about combined. And that's been, that's been the case in my organization for many, many years now, that that infinity bonus is bigger than all six unilevel, uh, unilevels combined. So there's some serious income available in this program because, the comp again, the company doesn't advertise. They pay us to be the mouthpieces, okay? And so this program, again, starts with some simple ideas. I want to start a business. How do I do it? I fill my wagon. It's going to cost me 350 bucks to get started. What am I agreeing to? I'm agreeing to take the products, share the products, sell the products, and find four people to do the same thing. And if you do that and teach other people to do it, the sky's the limit. All right, thank you very much. Any questions?